It's often said that breaking bread can bond people together. But in this room, there is already an unspoken bond between people. So we tried to come down 15 years old. A bond between fathers who have lost children to gun violence in the Richmond community. I had to identify with Bob. For Lawrence Robinson, who lost his daughter in 2021, his reality now is making meaning from his loss. I've been on an emotional roller coaster, but I couldn't crash out because I know that there was a bigger mission to me. I saw a need. So he's working to bring fathers together to talk about the trauma they are all dealing with. I understand the anger. When you wake up in the middle of the night, you want to kill everybody. But you can't do nothing with that energy but destroy yourself. Because if we have angry fathers that are unhealed because their children were killed, then that's going to create more about them. Robinson held a breakfast aimed to give these fathers a brotherhood. Many shared their stories about their own struggles with their tragedy. I go through my good days and my bad days. So I know there's, there's other men out there that's going through the same thing. And how current youth gun violence continues to remain out of hand. So disappointed because when my son was killed and all the pain that I felt, the killing didn't stop him. It didn't, it didn't stop. As these fathers find ways to move forward from their losses, Robinson hopes they'll begin to heal, now having each other. So I'm seeking to heal them so that they themselves can go back into that community and heal other people. In Richmond, Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.